One, two, three. Okay, let's do a little exercise. Um, are you gonna record something, some audio? This exercise, especially for the instrumentalists who wanna go into this. Um, so we make a sample buffer. Uh, do whatever you like. Um, I do 20 seconds and then um, yeah load it and then the full thing here I put loop off and I'm gonna record a bit and then mm, load it into the Rainer wait let's just record a bit He's done. Um, that was really soft. Well, what you can do here is sel select it and then do the normalize on. Then we load it into the GG. And then, yeah, open fully there. Okay, so um, now we're going to. Um, use the nano control or whatever um, uh, MIDI controller you, you want to hook up. Um, we made a little um, routing setup for the GG Rainer here. Some parameters like length and start, pitch, grain length, pitch random, overall random, speed slider, everything is here. And we're going to play this file and then kind of manipulate manipulate a bit just play around with it a bit and then while we're doing that we're going to um, record uh, this all these movements in in Ableton Live in a MIDI file uh, I think we need to switch the, uh, the port there to nano control um, Ableton Live will pick it up I didn't do any special things here. Well, you have, of course, your um, where's that? Preppies, right? MIDI preps. Yeah, you have your various control surfaces, input, output stuff. Um, so you set it up. MIDI, f MIDI track. Um, I punch in record, and then I'll. Um, to a little recording and I'm going to play it back see what happens
Alright, well, I did a few things. Alright, so far. Okay, now we're gonna punch in this one, this is the default. And we're gonna do playback. And we have to switch the port here to max one time there. And then we put it on. And there's something. Yeah. talk about that a little later. There's some, I don't know, looks like a program change at the beginning of this file, MIDI file, that he knocks down a few, always a different parameters, either the grain or the speed parameter goes way down. That's why I created um, a default preset, so if anything happens then and also I'm going to integrate the default preset into recording. That's true, I was going to do that. Where is it? Um, here's one. I can do that here. Uh, green air. And then... Uh, do the... What is it? Oh yeah. Um, presets, right? Yeah. And it's going to be number two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Uh, that's number twelve. And if I punch him, there, there he is. So next time, I'm going to mm, oops. <laughs> um, next time, we're going to. Also record this uh, this 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 punch in um, button. So I got faders, knob, and a button. For now, it's what's really important is that Ableton is recording everything. What I did and plays back exactly the way as it as it has recorded it from pool and not from the uh, the nano control. I was afraid he was going to do that. But he doesn't, he just records or registers everything I just did in pool and he sends it back at the same parameters. Which is totally awesome. I do not understand exactly what he's doing. I cannot see MIDI notes, I don't know where he stashes his CC signals. Don't know. I've looked around, I couldn't find it yet. Anyway, I, I, I did save it and reopened it and it was all still there. I could use it the next day. So um, so that was part one of the exercise. The part two is uh, you're going to record um, and, and improvise while this is going. The main reason for this exercise is of course you start then with a clean sheet and start improvising. Um, Because there the interesting thing starts. The interesting thing starts.
exciting stuff because now if you have an idea for a composition or improvisation you can think of some um, or a actions happening um, or uh, in 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 interventions you, know, you can everything on this page can be uh, manipulated all right by a MIDI right so and at the same time you you're free to um for your hands to <laughs> to play you know i thought that was a really exciting thing when i discovered that this uh last week and i did several tests with it already and like i said there's a little well there's a a little bug somewhere well, it's not a bug. It's just a so default setting. What he does right. at the at the end or at the beginning of the file, and uh, right. and I thought, mm. yeah, mm. if that happens, right. I'm gonna experiment with um, this uh, preset preset to default setting. So I could do that in the beginning or at the end of the um, of each. Um, of each uh, MIDI file, I have to, I have to, I have to look. So, um, this was the exercise. 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 <laughs> 